Welcome back, everyone. I'm meteorologist Chelsea Ingram. It's such a pleasant evening outside, but that's going to change for several of us as we head into the next several hours as we're tracking some showers and storms already starting to move into the western part of the state. We'll start you out with the good news, though. Temperatures still very, very comfortable, even at this point in time. A lot of folks are checking in in the mid and upper 70s. It all depends on where you live. Right around 79 degrees currently at BWI, Thurgood Marshall Airport. The official high today was 80, feeling like summertime out there in 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Here's those storms that I told you about already starting to make their way out into western Maryland. They'll be making their way toward central Maryland as we head uh, into the 7, 8 o'clock hour this evening. Checking out future cast. Here's how things develop. Fast forward to 8, 9 o'clock. Some of the strongest storms will remain down to the south, but we could still get some moderate downpours from the city and areas north. We could have an isolated severe storm as this moves on through, and then after about midnight, 1 a.m., We'll start to get that quick clearing taking place and high pressure moves back and control that'll provide us with sunshine tomorrow. So a thunderstorm, some showers early, that's followed by quick clearing overnight. All of the storm activity is associated with a front draped across our region. Behind the front, we've got some cooler temperatures that are going to be moving on in, high pressure as well. An area of low pressure then develops to the south on Tuesday, and as it makes its way off the coast, that's going to bring shower chances back to the forecast by Wednesday. Behind tonight's front, though, we'll see a cooling trend taking shape. We're in the low 60s all the way through Friday. That's, of course, after, after tomorrow with a high temperature right around 67 degrees. But that's not the coolest that it's going to get. Take a look at the next seven days as we head into next weekend, Sean. We're talking high temperatures in the 50s. So that's a big difference compared to what we've dealt with this weekend. We'll send things back to you in the studio.